Hello everyone, this is going to be the guide for the Black Knife Catacombs dungeon, found in Bellum Highway. In this dungeon you will need one stone sword key for the imp statue inside the dungeon. Upon entering the dungeon you will discover the Lost Grace Continue going down below where you will encounter one skeleton wielding a sword near the locked door. You can unlock it only by finding the lever further down in the dungeon. To the left you will reach another hallway there you will encounter two skeletons summoned by a necromancer who is further down the hallway to the right. Once you kill the necromancer, the skeletons will be killed too. After that, go back to the skeleton where the two skeletons spawned, where you will find the imp statue. Use one of the stone sword keys to lift the fog. In that room, you will have to deal with two skeletons. One is using a bow and the other is using a sword and a shield. After killing them, loot the body to get the rose's axe. Get back to the main hallway and continue to the next room, where you will see the falling blade trap and three skeletons, two of them are archers and one who is throwing bombs on the balcony. You can ignore the skeletons since they are going to be reanimated by the necromancer. In the middle of the room there is also a corpse which drops a spell-proof dried liver. In the next chamber you will encounter a skeleton with a sword Go down the ladder leading to a room down below The water filled room will have a lot of crab enemies. Deal with them first, you will see grates which will be locked by a lever from the other side of the grates. In the next water filled room you will see a corpse which contains a rune arc. After you loot it, a big crab will appear. If you will run into the next room, another big crab will appear as well. Get them close to each other, since they can damage each other, if you want to fight them. Now, you will need to get back into the room with the blades. Since you can stand on the blade, go to the middle one and wait for it to lift you up. Then jump onto the balcony where the third skeleton is standing. You can ignore the skeleton since the necromancer is close by. Kill the necromancer and proceed further. In the next room you will encounter three skeletons and the necromancer. Two of them are archers and one with a sword and a shield. Kill the Necromancer as done previously. In the room up ahead you will fight an Archer Skeleton. Beware, there is also a skeleton with a shield and a sword close to the middle wall to the left.
On your right, you will see a hole in the middle where you will have to jump. This will take you to the lever to open the door to the boss. There you will encounter two skeletons, one of them is wielding a sword and which does fast attacks to give up with spinning attacks, so be careful. After using the next lever, the second skeleton will appear with the same attack pattern as the previous one. Now you can go back to the Lost Grace to replenish the flasks for the boss fight. The boss is called the Cemetery Shade and it has a few variations of attacks If you are far away from the boss, he will shoot a poison ball at you after 3 seconds once he initiates the animation. The boss also teleports, so be aware he can get close to you if that happens. His sword lunge is fairly slow, but after it, he follows up with a faster combination of attacks. Try to avoid those. He has 3 skeletons who help him during the fight. Two of them are sword wielders and one archer. Try to avoid them and dodge the incoming arrows. The best strategy is either to call the summons or to run around the arena and wait for the moment the boss is separated from them. Then you can go for a jump attack and retreat and wait for another opening. Keep repeating it and you will kill the boss eventually. Hope this helps you to clear the full dungeon. Also have a nice loot hunt in Elden Ring. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment and hit that bell. Thanks for watching. See you around.